Scuba Marchie here. I ran across this story and I really liked it. And I hope you do too. <laughs> I don't think most kids today know what an apron is. Yeah, that's apron, A-P-R-O-N. The principal use of mom or grandma's apron was to protect the dress underneath because she only had a few. It was also because it was easier to wash aprons than dresses and aprons used less material. But along with that, it served as a pot holder for removing hot pans from the oven. It was wonderful for drying children's tears. From the chicken coop, the apron was used for carrying eggs, fussy chicks, and sometimes half-hatched eggs to be finished in the warming oven. When company came, those aprons were ideal hiding places for shy kids. And when the weather was cold, she wrapped it around her arms. Those big old aprons wiped many a perspiring brow bent over a hot wood stove. Chips and kindling wood were brought into the kitchen in that apron. From the garden, it carried all sorts of vegetables. After the peas had been shelled, it carried out the hulls. In the fall, the apron was used to bring in apples that had fallen from the trees. When unexpected company drove up the road, it was surprising how much furniture that old apron could dust in a matter of seconds. <laughs> when dinner was ready, she walked out onto the porch, waved her apron, and the men folk knew it was time to come in from the fields for dinner. It will be a long time before someone invents something that will replace the old time apron that serves so many purposes. Mom and grandmas used to set hot apple baked pies on the window sill to cool. Her granddaughters now set theirs on the window sill to thaw. They would go crazy trying to figure out how many germs were on that old apron. I don't think anyone ever caught anything from an apron, but love. Now, of course, some chefs still wear aprons, but it will never be like your grandmas did. For those of you who have never even seen or know what an apron is, Google it. <laughs> Cooper Marcher here. Ciao.